Hey everyone, it's James, and in this video I am going to talk about stoichiometry balloon races. This is a lab that my students did this week, and the lab's already been taken down because the other pre-AP chemistry teacher is using them, but I have a setup right here so you can see what was used. So, the students each had, well first of all, there were pairs at each table because they worked in pairs, so they all got a triple balance. balance. On our flask, right away the cylinder, um, funnel, they all got a plastic, clear plastic container and then a container full of baking soda and then so this setup was for both pairs but then they had a beaker to share with vinegar in between and so there were six pairs so on this side again the setups are taken down already and then on that side so and then also they got a balloon then just depending on the number that they got assigned they had to get a certain amount of baking soda so you can't really see this but it says one um, so they were supposed to obtain 0.50 grams of baking soda so what I did to assign numbers is I just went across the table so one six two five three four and then on the opposite side I went um, in, the, in the reverse order so with the materials they all got a balloon the very first step that they did was they stretched the balloon out they blew it up they had a sharpie, so they wrote the number that it was assigned to them, and then they measured out the mass of the baking soda. Um, again, they all had 25 milliliters of vinegar. From there, what they did is they took the scoopla and they placed the baking soda into the balloon, took the mouth of the balloon, and covered the mouth of the flask without adding the baking soda to the flask. Um, and then, because they were working in pairs of six, I don't know if I... I can't remember if I said that or not. So they worked, um, each pair had one flask. And then because I had six pairs, what they did is they came together. And so there were six flasks that they lined up instead of, for example, a group of four, each having six flasks, just to cut down on materials. And in, in terms of ease and cleaning up, it was easier for me. Each pair, they got their baking soda, they got their vinegar, they attached their balloon to the flask. Then at some point they came to a common area like this table and they lined their flask up one through six. Students that were waiting because they, again, were doing it in pairs and just depending on how fast they were, um, if they were waiting for the other pairs to finish up, there were um, two prediction questions. Predict what will happen when the sodium bicarbonate is added to the acetic acid in the flask and then just predict the size of the inflated balloon once the reaction is complete. Um, they had to get stamped by me, so I went around and made sure that they got stamped. And then once they all had they got stamped on one side, like I said earlier, they brought their flask to the side of the table, and then they added the baking soda from the balloon into the vinegar in the flask, and they just allowed the reaction to complete, take place. Um, they were instructed not to swirl it because this is also a great, um, limiting reactant lab because they can see like the baking soda was used up um, in a couple of the flask and then in the other flask there's still a whole bunch of baking soda in there so they can see that's the excess reactant. I use this as an introduction to stoichiometry because first of all um, I wanted to tie it back to the concept while I was teaching it. Sorry I didn't look up. I was out of focus. Um, so it was like an ABC activity before content. So we did the lab, they got some data, then we went into notes, um, but we're going to come back and do the lab again because once they, and they seem to be doing a really good job with stoichiometry um, or getting the concept down. And so from there, we'll come back and we'll do the lab again, plus another lab. So that was pretty much it. Well, also, there was a data table here. So they didn't get to do that because they had not learned how to do stoichiometric calculations. Um, and so now that they're learning a little bit about that, they can come back and do it um, on the first lab but then we're gonna do it again now that they have a little bit more information. So that's what we did this week, it was a lab. They seemed to enjoy it. Um, they took pictures, etc. But I am gonna go because I actually, it probably doesn't look like it, but I have food poisoning. I'm a little bit better, but I didn't think I was gonna make it through the day. So with that said, if you have any questions, make sure to leave questions, comments in the comment section, and I will get back with you. Bye. Do me a favor, if there was anything about this video that you liked, then make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and or share the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching.